It's time for business news and senior business editor Mike Apple joins us. Great to see you, Mike. Thanks for joining us. You too. Let's start with some major developments in the cannabis industry. Another round of cutbacks and restructuring is announced today, Erica, by one of the country's biggest cannabis producers. This industry, which was launched with so much promise in 2018, has simply failed to deliver anything in the way of profitability, uh, improving sales, hasn't done much to dent the black market. And Canopy Growth out of Smiths Falls, Ontario today said that they'll be closing down their uh, mainline plant in Smiths Falls, which actually used to be a Hershey's chocolate factory. It's at number one Hershey Drive in Smiths Falls, shutting that down entirely. 800 jobs to be cut, over 30% of the company's workforce. They saw sales in the latest quarter drop. Another quarter of a billion dollars in red ink, and the share price investors have grown completely uh, you know, frustrated with this entire industry. Cannabis or cannabis stock today was down another 16%, and Aurora Cannabis just reported earnings, a loss for that company of $64 million in a, in a quarter. They can't advertise. The legislation needs to be reformed, and they're getting hit with a massive excise tax, and the industry is uh, struggling mightily, just has not been able to produce a profit. All right, speaking of cutbacks, Disney is going through a major restructuring, and that means significant mm -hmm. job losses as well, Mike. Yeah, the uh, the previous CEO, Bob Iger, who retired and then subsequently came back to uh, kind of reorganize Disney because uh, shareholders were growing impatient, and uh, Disney's cutting 7,000 jobs, 3% of its workforce. They're streamlining uh, the Disney Plus streaming service and the theme parks and ESPN and the television networks. Uh, a lot of this has to do with the burgeoning cost to produce all of these big movies for Disney Plus streaming. I mean, they've been raising prices uh, for monthly subscription fees for that. Investors cheered it today, and Disney also saying they're coming out with another edition of the Toy Story franchise and Frozen and all of these big budget blockbusters, plus Marvel and all of the Star Wars epic uh, movies as well. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see if that uh, gets more subscribers on the Disney platform. Right, those shows, they're big budget shows, even if they're just you know Huge. limited series. Okay, Elon yeah. Musk has made plenty of headlines for his handling of Twitter lately, but meanwhile, his car company is gaining some serious momentum. Yeah, it's got the top spot in California auto sales. Uh, the Tesla Model Y has surpassed the Camry in California. Tesla's coming off a record-breaking sales year, and they're forecasting record sales this year. They're ramping up production. And you look at what the market has done with Tesla stock. Erica, back on January 6th, it hit a two-year low of $101 per share. Five weeks later, the stock has more than doubled because a lot of people think that Elon Musk's problems at Twitter are kind of on the, in the rearview mirror, now focused back on Tesla, this company growing rapidly, and investors bidding up the stock price big time. Interesting. Okay, thanks, Mike. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. That's City News right. Senior Business Editor, Mike Apple. Thank you.